Good morning students today i am going to explain poem i remember i remember to you people okay let's begin i remember i remember in the beginning of the poem itself here the literary device repetition is used because i remember i remember it is repeated twice so literary device repetition is used here the house where i was born the little window where the sun came peeping in at morn morn here means morning so in this poem the poet is remembering he is remembering his old house so here he is recalling the poet recalls the window that brought in the morning sun he happily he happily recalls that house where he used to live when he was a child so every morning through that little window the sun used to peep inside the house see here the sun came peeping in at morn means the sun is personified here because the peeping inside to something is the is a human nature so the human quality is assigned here to the sun so that is why sun is personified here he never came a wink too soon please see here never came a wink too soon means was always on time it means the sun was very much punctual he never came late always on the same time the sun used to peep inside peep inside the house not brought to long a day but now i often wish the night had borne my breath away so when the child when the poet he was a child he had never feel like that that the days were too long the day was never too long for the poet as a child because he was constantly occupied with several activities as a child he derived happiness from the elements of nature but now because he was a grown up now now the poet finds his days too long because there is little happiness in his life now and he has nothing to occupy himself as the days seemed too long see the meaning of these blue highlighted words the night had borne my breath away means here i had never woken up means now he want a eternal sleep he doesn't want to wake up let's proceed i remember i remember the roses red and white the violets and lily cups those flowers made of light the lilies where the robin built and where my brother set the laburnum on his birthday the tree is living yet see the natural objects they were having more life than human being see here again the repetition device is used here so here the poet is remembering the garden of the house he is remembering here the garden of the house that the garden of the house had many flowers and also is having laburnum tree which was planted to mark his brother's birthday see description of different kinds of flowers are there roses of red and white color violets lily cups he said the flowers are made up of light it means that flowers are extremely beautiful so he is remembering i'm going to sum up this stanza for you people here the poet he first recall that house that little window from which the sun used to peep inside the house then he had expresses his thought upon the day that as a child when he was a child he never felt that days were too long because he was always occupied by some activities but now as a grown up human being he finds his days too long because now he was unable to find pleasure from the natural objects next he just recalls the garden of the house where different kind of flowers were there and the flowers were extremely beautiful he has also remembered the tree 
that they have planted to mark his brother's birthday laburnum is a kind of a small tree which has a hanging bunches of yellow flowers so this stanza this is the first stanza of it now let's proceed to the next stanza i remember i remember where i was used to swing and thought the air must rush as fresh as to swallow on the wing my spirit flew in feathers then see this blue had these blue highlighted words i felt joyous at the smallest of things so here the poet he is remembering the place where he used to play that swing and he remember that as a child when he used to swing he realizes the way the birds would feel in the fresh air he said that he felt very light at that time but now that is so heavy now and the summer pools could hardly cool the fever on my brow but now he feels that is life has become complicated and even the luxuries that is indicated by summer pools here can hardly give any kind of comfort to him i remember i remember the fir trees dark and high i used to think their slender tops were close against the sky it was a childish ignorance so the poet as a young boy he used to feel that the fir trees were very high so he used to think that the slender tops of these fir trees it might touch the sky but he said now as i am a grown up person now i know that the fir trees were having a uh, longer length but it doesn't mean that it touched against the uh, it touches the sky with their slender tops but he now realizes that whatever he thought about the fir, fir trees it was a childish ignorance but but this he said this knowledge is of no use because the knowledge only brings sadness and melancholy to him nothing else so i am repeating myself again when the poet was a child he thought that the trees were tall enough to touch the sky and hence were closer to god but now he knew that uh, it is not the reality but the reality is not satisfying for him unless the childish ignorance was more fascinating to him he feel good about that thought but now it's little joy to know i am father of from heaven then when i was a boy the blue highlighted words means not so innocent now the poet is he is not a boy he is a grown up person and he is having enough knowledge about all the things and all the childish ignorance has gone away but he said it is of no use because he he is unable to you can say satisfy himself with that kind of thoughts i am going to sum up the last stanza first of all the poet he just he just recall the swings where he used to swing and used to feel light as the as the bird then he has mentioned the fir trees the poet felt closer to heaven earlier as a child because he would find happiness and joy in different elements of nature he valued he valued the little pleasures that the life had to offer and therefore felt closer to heaven as a child but now as a grown up human being he felt farther off from heaven because he was unable to connect with the things around him he is disconnected from every one around him he no longer finds comfort in nature nature symbolizes heaven and a disconnect with it implies the poet is far away from heaven this is a beautiful poem it actually it this poem celebrates childhood as we already know that childhood is a golden period of one's life 
lot of poetry celebrating that age only that's it thank you